Hey, good morning everybody. I'm Mary and this is my Simple Cottage Life. Look at the coloring y'all, one leg white, one gray. Isn't he beautiful? That's Bubba. Yeah, that's Bubba. Ooh, that's Bubba. What do you think, fella? You wanna eat that? Yeah, you wanna eat that? I just wanted to show y'all what it's like for me to bring my cats up here to Gilmer. You can see that we are in Brookshire's parking lot and it's about 8.44. And here they are. APL is Animal Protection League. And people are starting to set up out there, as you see, and other folks are bringing their animals. They're beginning to come in with animals. And right back here is LG. LG has caused a big ruckus this morning. Um, well, Little Georgie, she cried and whined and carried on for a while, but LG has gone nuts in that carrier. He has scratched it from top to bottom on the inside. He is not a happy camper. So as you can see, they're setting up, and then there'll be a long line of people. And I, it doesn't matter that I was here first. I'm not necessarily going to be the first in line because I have two carriers to get out. I couldn't put them both in the back of the car facing one another. It's really what I wanted to kind of do. <laughs> like they'd be reassured if, if LG could see his sister. That's a hot rod going down the road, isn't it? Tacky, tacky, tacky. Anyway, people are pulling up. Shortly, they will be able to line up, and and it, it will be a long line. It was last time. They do this once a month here. I wish I had known about this. I wouldn't have spent over $200 to get ginger uh, neutered. I mean, boy, that was a rip-off and a half, wasn't it? Anyway. I see they're starting to put a netting around the sides of it. That's kind of like that stuff, that black netting. It's kind of like the stuff I use for my fence, y'all. Yeah, it's the same, exact same. Gosh, there's lots of ways you can use that, I guess. I never thought of it being a, an enclosure. Hmm, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, I'm thinking about my patio, but I don't need that for that. Anyway, in about 15 minutes, I should be able to get their carriers and take them up there and get in line. Here's a fella bringing his puppy dog. I guess he doesn't know you can't do this till nine o'clock. Let's see if if they take him or uh, make him go back in the car. I don't think they're gonna be able to deal with him this early. He's way early. If he is, I'm going to get out. Well, I don't know. Oh, look. They're telling him to go have a seat over there. Isn't that interesting? Oh, 
they've got a little waiting room over there, but I can't take two cats and two carriers over there. Not enough room. I'll just wait. It's not gonna kill me. Anyway, I'll let y'all know how this comes out. Here they are this morning. When I woke them up, they were in the, you know, in their carriage in the bathroom in the bathtub. I went in the bathroom this morning, and boy, they came alive. They had been asleep, obviously, all night. And they were shrieking and screaming and yelling. Boy, they wanted out of that carrier. LG is busy. Pardon him, please. So I brought him outside, put them out, and, you know, they seem to be doing fantastic. I mean, they... They ate their their breakfast and they had water because y'all know yesterday morning they didn't get any breakfast. So they went a whole 24 hours without without their breakfast. But here they are this morning. There's my little baby Georgie. There's my little LG. And they're doing fine. They had rabies shots. They checked them for worms and no worms were found. So... You know that old saying that all kitties, all new kitties that have worms is just not true. They're doing fine. They're not mad at me. Oh yeah. What sweetness are they? They are precious. They are absolutely precious baby loves. I love them, love them. All is well.